This is a video on how to create a wire in Fidus. So first we're going to go to 3D modeling. We're going to the wire. And then we're going to start with line point to point up here. Generally this is going to be the one you're going to use 95% of the time. So we're going to go line point to point. We're going to click where we want to start the wire. We're going to hold down the control button and then click in the direction of where we want our first line to go. Uh, by holding the control button, that's going to give us a straight line. If you don't hold the control button, you're going to get a random, you know, uh, random angle. So that's going to give us a vertical or horizontal line. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so that number, it's just going to be some random number, so we're going to change it to 100. Nice, clean, round number. We're going to go line point to point again. Hold down our control again. Change this to 200. Line point to point. From here to here. Change this to 50. Line point to point. Change this to 100. Line point to point. Again, I'm holding my control button every time. Changes to 50. And as you can see, these uh, <coughs> these things on the end here are uh, square. The square means it's an open-ended wire. As you can see here, this one circles. So all these should be circles here. It indicates that it's a closed wire. So I'm going to go line point to point. Click here to here. And we have a perfectly closed wire. And if you want to change the length, this little arrow right here shows you which direction you are um, going to change when you change this number. And then you can go over here to reverse to change the direction you want to change. So I'm going to change that 100 to, uh, let's say, 50. And as you can see, it got shorter. Um, we can do simple things with commands here, like radius. Click radius. Click the uh, corner we want to put the radius in. Click there. And then we're still in the command, so we want to click in the gray over here. And it's going to ask us for a numerical value, so we're going to type in 20. And that's going to give us our radius there. We want to put in a um, symmetrical chamfer, or they call it bevel. Click on that command. Click the corner we want to put the chamfer in. And again, we're going to click over here. And we're just going to put 50 in. You can hit OK or Enter. And there you have your wire. So we're done generating our wire. We're going to hit Quit. And it's going to ask you to name your wire. You just uh, name it the default name because eventually we're going to get rid of it. So hit OK. And then this is your two-dimensional wire. So if we want to add some depth to that, <coughs> turn it into a three-dimensional model, we're going to use the extrusion command. So I'm going to click that. It says pick master wire. You can click that, and then you can see the arrow in here. It's going to indicate which direction it's going to extrude. We can change that up here with these arrows. So that's how you change it. You can actually change it so it um, extrudes uh, half the distance in each direction. So we have 20. You can change the color here. You can also change it afterwards. So uh, hit OK. And there you have your 3D model of your wire. Generally you get rid of your auxiliary group because that is the original 2D wire you created. So we're going to get rid of that because it's pretty much useless now. And that's your wire.